Let's solve some word problems uh, to multiply negative as well as positive numbers. The first one is this. A class test has following rules. Six marks are awarded for each correct answer and two marks are deducted for each incorrect answer. Out of 10 questions, Rahul got six correct and four incorrect. What is his score? So the first rule is simple. If your answer is correct, then you are going to get six marks. So let's write it down. Marks for a correct answer equals six. And Rahul has got six correct answers. So marks for the six correct answers are six multiplied by six equals 36. The second rule says that two marks are deducted for each incorrect answer. Two marks are deducted, that means taken away. That means marks for an incorrect answer equals negative two. When you get something, it is positive. When you lose something, it is negative. So you are going to lose two marks. That means you are going to get negative two marks. And how many he got incorrect? He got four incorrect answers. So marks for the four incorrect answers are four multiplied by negative two. Four twos are eight. We have one positive and one negative number. So the answer is going to be negative. So the product is negative eight. So what is Rahul's total score here? Rahul's score is going to be the marks he got for the correct answers and the marks he got for the incorrect answers. That means 36 plus negative 8, which equals 36 minus 8. Plus negative 8 means minus 8. So 36 minus 8 equals 28. So Rahul got 28 marks. Let's solve one more problem. Let's keep the rules as is. That means the class test has the same rules. But now the test will have 15 questions. So out of 15 questions, Mira attempted 13 questions. She got 9 correct and 4 incorrect. What is her score? Out of 15 questions, Mira attempted only 13. That means she didn't attempt 2 questions. We saw in the previous problem what happens when you get it right and what happens when you get it wrong. What happens if you do not attempt? You will not be awarded any marks and no marks will be deducted. That means zero marks. Questions which are not attempted, there will be zero marks for those questions. You don't get anything, there is nothing positive. You don't lose anything, there is nothing negative. It is zero. So let's calculate the marks. Marks for a correct answer equals six. And there were nine correct answers. So marks for nine correct answers are nine multiplied by six equals 54. And marks for an incorrect answer equals negative two. Two marks are deducted, that means you get negative two. And there were four incorrect answers, that means four multiplied by negative two equals negative eight. So Mira's score is 54 plus negative eight. 54 for the correct answers and negative 8 for the incorrect answers. So 54 plus negative 8 means 54 minus 8 and 54 minus 8 equals 46. So Mira's score is 46. Where else we use negative numbers? In profit and loss. So if there is a problem of profit and loss, something like this, say there is a furniture shop and the furniture shopkeeper gets 100 rupees of profit per table and he incurs 20 rupees of loss per chair. If you get a problem like this, we know that profit is positive and loss is negative. So per table, if you get 100 rupees of profit, the money you get will be positive 100. And if there is a loss of 20 rupees per chair, then the money you get is negative 20 right so if there is a problem like this which defines profit per table and loss per chair or anything else like this you can solve it in the same manner as the previous problem instead of getting marks for the right answer you have a profit here instead of losing marks for a wrong answer you incur a loss here other than that the method is exactly the same 
where else you can see these uh, positive and negative numbers if you deposit money in a bank that amount would be positive and if you withdraw money from a bank that would be negative because when you deposit money the amount in your bank account goes up so that would be positive when you withdraw money the amount in your bank account goes down it reduces that's why it is negative so if there is any problem that talks about deposit of money or withdrawal of money again you would use positive and negative numbers let's solve one more problem let's say that uh, there is some experiment a certain experiment in a laboratory so suppose that experiment needs some kind of freezing let's just say that the temperature needs to be reduced by 6 degrees per hour so this kind of experiment requires that the temperature is reduced by 6 degrees celsius every hour now if you look at this it says reduced by 6 degrees it is reduced it is coming down it is decreased that means it is negative 6 so the change in the temperature would be negative 6 every hour so if the initial temperature is 30 degrees that means when you start the experiment at that time if the temperature is 30 degrees celsius what would happen after 3 hours every hour the temperature will change by negative 6 degrees so in 3 hours it will change by negative 6 multiplied by 3 6 3 are 18 the product is negative 18 that means after 3 hours the temperature will change by negative 18 degrees the initial temperature is 30 so 30 plus negative 18 equals 30 minus 18 30 minus 18 is 12 so the temperature would be 12 degrees after 3 hours what would be the temperature after 5 hours again after every hour the change in the temperature is negative 6 so after 5 hours it will be negative 6 multiplied by 5 6 fives are 30 so the answer is negative 30 because we are multiplying one positive and one negative number so the product is negative the initial temperature was 30 which is changed by negative 30 so 30 plus negative 30 equals 30 minus 30 which is 0 degrees that means after 5 hours the temperature will be 0 degrees how about after 8 hours let's multiply negative 6 by 8 6 eights are 48 so the product is Negative forty-eight. When we started, the temperature was thirty. It changes by negative forty-eight degrees. So thirty plus negative forty-eight equals thirty minus forty-eight, which is negative eighteen degrees. How do you add one positive and one negative number? Ignore the signs. Subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. So we subtract thirty from forty-eight, which is eighteen, and the answer takes the sign of the bigger number. in this case the bigger number was 48 and 48 is a negative number so the answer is negative 18 degrees that means if you start the experiment at 30 degrees celsius and if you reduce the temperature by 6 degrees every hour then after 8 hours the temperature will be negative 18 degrees one more example of such problems would be like this the distance covered by an elevator or a lift or stairs going down so if there is a problem that talks about uh, how many meters the elevator went down or how many meters the stairs went down that distance the distance of going down would be negative if a lift or a staircase is going up then the distance of going up is positive if it talks about the distance for going down that distance would be negative 